quite addressed. So I was going to do a vlog today and instead of a vlog, I actually got a little run through of Dinosaur Island from one of the two designers, um, Brian Lewis, who co-designed this with uh, Jonathan Gilmore, who did Den of Winter. Um, Brian is new to me, so I kind of met him online tonight, which was kind of fun. And um, so Dinosaur Island is this worker placement game that they have built that has um, pretty distinct worker placement phases, and they all work in different ways. So there are dinosaurs to buy with some dice that roll over here. Um, it's kind of an interesting one. You take your scientist and you can either kind of bet on a specific dinosaur or you can get specific resources you need um, or you can uh, give up your scientist this round to get more workers in the con uh, subsequent rounds. Um, let's see. And then in phase two, uh, you have, let's see, you have uh, different decks that will populate. So you might have um, these little worker placement spots for later um, that you can put on your own player board. You will have uh, different paddocks or attractions that you're going to put into your own spaces or you're going to have cards that are um, some sort of specialist that help you get points or something else for different things that you're building. Um, basically in the game your excitement level is how happy your patrons are to be there and then you have a victory point scale. Um, you also have end game objectives so this is um, something that you would earn. It's worth 10 points in the updated game but as you earn these uh, you will claim the card and take the points um, and that's how you're going to treat the end of the game. Most games go from six to eight rounds. And then each round there are game changers. So game changers are um, slight rules changes that will occur every single round. Um, just giving you a little bit of something to watch out for. And then your main board um, is over here. So on the top you have different amounts of DNA. So I have one blue, one pink, and a few dark blue. And then you have a cap on each of those. Each of those is affected by other things that you've done in the game. So you're going to have to move your caps up in order to hold more DNA. Because what DNA does for you is builds dinosaurs. So this dinosaur, you need a pink, a dark blue, and then what's called advanced DNA in the green or the, um, the dark pink here. Um, and those will build the ceratosaurus. Ceratosaurus. Um, right now my paddock only holds one of those. However, those can be built out with additional paddocks like those. Um, so I would be able to hold three dinosaurs in this paddock. Um, the number of dinosaurs you have also tells you how many patrons can go there because each round you're going to pull a number of patrons out of a bag and that's going to let's say I pull four out of the bag, then um, those patrons are going to visit different attractions of the park and they're going to give me money and they're going to give me victory points. Um, there's also in the bag a number of hooligans. So let's say this comes out. This hooligan doesn't give me money, doesn't give me victory points, and he takes up a spot in the park. He's the first thing I have to place when I'm placing workers. So there are something like 12 hooligans to the, or 10 hooligans to the 70 regular patrons. So they're not super, super prevalent, but by the end of the game, apparently you're just pulling a crap ton of workers out of the bag. Um, the last thing to note is there is a threat level on the left here and a security level. Um, at the end of the round, you're going to check the threat versus security, and if the threat is higher, um, dinosaurs are going to trample patients patrons and so they're not going to give you victory points. So if you kill off your patrons, you don't get victory points. You don't have to shut down your park though, which is kind of nice. Um, I thought this was a pretty clever way of showing off the game. Um, Brian himself brought brought me in not knowing I was even going to vlog it. Um, and so it was really nice to learn this. Uh, I have backed this on Kickstarter. If you would like to, the link will be down below. Um, I think it's a great project and it's so nice to see 
art like what uh, they've done with this is like radical 80s hypnotic like crazy colorful game and you just don't see that in games right now so it's a really unique and awesome looking um, project and I'm really excited to see how it will look on a table um, so this has been my vlog about Dinosaur Island go back it on Kickstarter and I'll see y'all next time bye